Okay, so actually I just realized that when I got up it said, um, here's the devil, Capricorn, and Knight of Discs. And that relates to the Capricorn here and what was on the bottom, Virgo, Knight of Discs. Um, so I don't know, maybe that's important to you. Um, made me also think of the devils in the details, which I mentioned in the other um, video. That's very like Capricorn y and um, Virgo like detailed energy. So maybe there's a lot of that going on between people, things going on in the details. How I had mentioned like the mind of God, everything else is in the details. So kind of that idea that details both obstruct like the Five of Wands, um, the truth, or bring together a larger whole in some way, like an underlying pattern um, through symbols and structures and how the uh, details like tie the whole together. So just kind of how that balance is. Um, yeah, so it could also mean like work life and love life balance, work life balance, um, needing to uh, put something on your scale, um, rebalance, um, maybe you're trying to figure out what would be a good way to, uh, where you need to add something to, or take something away, um, like the Eight of Cups, in order to regain some um, maybe work-life balance, something like that. Um, and uh, it also made me think of like our shadow sides with the mountain, two mountains, one in the background, one in the foreground, one in the background, kind of, or however you see it, but they meet together in this like fog. Maybe some sort of shared vision or shared um, dream, shared connection. Um, yeah, so also just another like little uh, tidbit of advice. Um, the page of uh, pentacles, page of discs, earth can also mean like a heads up. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, and some other things that I thought of, just, uh, for the Eight of Cups, uh, things that haunt you, um, starting at the beginning, following some sort of map from going back, starting at the beginning for things to make sense, or from the beginning, um, maybe something you're encountering, something that takes you back, reminds you of something, um, Wandering, wanderlust, um, or some sort of like outgrowing of a certain emotional stage um, in life or some sort of relationship. But things go both ways, so both could be like the return of some sort of um, memory or something. Um, yeah, so. Um, Um, I guess I was going to pull from this deck. So yeah, 15, devil. Um, just vices. Um, like, it could even just be like, my biggest vice, like, is Diet Coke. <laughs> um, soda pop. <laughs> I should drink more water, but yeah. The sun just flew out and the five of, five of wands. So, um, I did mention that a second ago, five of wands being another translation for that is like 
like something's obstructed. Maybe how you, I had it all like nicely set up to like, <laughs> not sure though, like the little, you know, make it nicer looking, but um, not being able, I feel like with the sun again, like not being able to totally like see um, something's obstructed. Maybe who you are, how you uh, express something, or how uh, 19, um, 19 the sun, um, again, so maybe sun in Virgo, and five of wands, um, some sort of competition, or game, or um, just, yeah, obstruction, not being able to see um, things clearly, or be yourself, or just uh, maybe just sorting things out, figuring things out. Um, maybe something brings out the lighter side in you. Um, this is a Saturn and Leo um, for the Five of Wands, and so. Um, mean the fifth house too and um, your heart things that like really things that you enjoy things that you love to do things that make you happy that bring out the lighter side in you that um, make work fun that you know things that you want to do every day um, But also, um, you need the sixth house too, which is Capricorn, Virgo, um, Virgo, traditionally, um, you can kind of see how that works with your chart. Like I have Capricorn in Virgo, the, you know, sixth house of Virgo. So kind of like overlap there in a way. Um, And then those two energies make something else. So it's just kind of like all about dynamics and um, shifting dynamics and um, fusion of energies and different times, different. I mean, it's just how you. Uh, have fun, how you enjoy your downtime, how you enjoy your um, your free time, um, maybe something having to do with kids or um, how many, like your fifth house can show how many kids that uh, you, if you go like into very like fortune telling um, tarot reading. I don't feel like cards predict out as far, but that kind of gives you your wheel, <laughs> your astrology wheel kind of shows how many kids you'll have or, you know, creative projects you'll give birth to kind of thing in your fifth house, like depending on the amount of planets that you have there. Um, <laughs> I also kind of think of it as like a team of energies if you have like a stellium of planets in a certain house, um, all those planets kind of having this sort of overlapping connection and um, kind of active uh, working together or um, I don't know how exactly I'm trying to explain. <laughs> I don't know if it's making sense to anyone, but eyes are also a change maybe it's like a change in how you see yourself a change in how you express yourself a change in where you see yourself going how you see yourself getting there like even just the route you plan to take or something um or maybe just the sun in the fifth house or sun at five degrees or Saturn, Leo, or 
feel like it has some sort of like limit limitation sort of thing and has some sort of like conflict or creative block maybe um, creative uh, misunderstanding or you're misunderstanding how um, someone is you'd have like the first house which is your ascendant your personality the 11th house your more social network and things like that and then your son is like how big portion of like how you you know feel about yourself I guess Just depending um, Maybe, maybe someone brings out your competitive side or just turns you on or turns on that sort of like competitive, it's like, you know, just very lively, very, yeah, there's that sort of like canopy type thing. Kind of like just all these like overlaps and um, points of bridges. Um, Six of Wands, Jupiter and Leo. So Saturn and Jupiter and Leo. It's like very opposite point energies because Jupiter is about expansion and. Saturn's about contraction, and I think I mentioned that before, so um, it's finding some sort of equilibrium. Um, anything else from this deck? Princess of Cups. Wind blown, wind blown, or something. Um, all these like facets. And it reminds me of like a birth chart, and I I did make this like color series of um, sort of three D looking um, color harmony birth charts. So they became like these sort of sculptural. I think nowadays <laughs> this was a while ago, but. Um, Trying to explain that, like, I could have done it as like 3D and made the birth chart um, a, a sort of like diamond y looking um, multifaceted representation gem <laughs> of someone's different, you know, personality characteristics visualized and shape. Does this make sense to me? <laughs> so. Actually, I might try that. Um, maybe Pisces. Um, what is water? I feel like it's like, you can, again, you can kind of see it around on the edge, all the different um, signs, zodiac signs. Even some sort of source of um, maybe strength or support for someone, too. Four of Cups. Luxury, Cancer, Moon and Cancer. So, if it is something I would do with like, it's right before Leo, it's come up a few times, so um, just uh, 
fourth house maybe, ruled by Cancer, um, just represents home and um, I also mean like not noticing a sign or um, I feel like some sort of envisioning or vision board or <laughs> something like that sometimes. Um, but you know, four is about balance and stability and I think of the fourth house mainly this card or just um, not listening or not hearing something, not noticing um, astral projection. Um, it looks like a hologram or projection, some sort of um, dimension strength so um, I mean strength to turn something down to say no to something um, or like hearing uh, little whispers of inspiration of you know things that pop into your mind and learning how to, you know, maybe pay more attention to them or something. Um, maybe overcoming something or um, sometimes it's just asking you to take something, take notice of something, or um, do you hear? Do you hear that or um, it's just popped out? Um, devil again, um, Ace of Cups and the Hangman. So these have been, so the Ace of Cups has been, and the Hangman has come up a ton. Um, Card reminds me of the High Priestess card because they have the same sort of like grid pattern going on color wise, too, and it's like spider webs and emotional webs, and one of the webs we weave isn't that a <laughs> something? Um, it's the again beginning of something, something spilling over, maybe overflowing, um, compassion some sort of big, big thing, some sort of big explosion of, you know, energy of, you know, spiritual insight of, um, something that just makes you feel, um, rejuvenated too, like, <laughs> just like a Gatorade, um, Um, the theme that we're kind of talking about, um, building off like the Da Vinci Code and just some carryover themes, um, the death, the death card actually popped out for, and I heard the, a line in that movie that said, um, one true holy bloodline or something, um, and these are very like spiritual cards um, and uh, overcoming vices, I think, or giving something up maybe. Um, maybe feeling a little bit overwhelmed or um, surprised or um, free too. Um, You just need to take a time out, a break. 
Regain some strength. Three of Pentacles. Works. Again, that um, Grand Trine, the 180 degrees, the conjecture and geometry, the pyramids, the strength, and I don't know, um, some sort of Mars and Capricorn again. Maybe you have Mars and Capricorn or something having to do with your third house. And the stars on the bottom, 17. Some sort of like wellspring of, um, again, those like facet diamonds and just uh, reflecting different angles. Um, more like 3D. That sounds like anything to anyone. <laughs> she kind of just looks like she has a big pan or pot that she just like is dumping out spaghetti. Um, <laughs> or 17. <laughs> Aquarius. Uh, Uranus. Aquarius. Um, Saturn, too. Again, so she's like a lot of like out of the box thinking but having to have some sort of like blueprint or plan or structure or intention behind it like some sort of um, you know like checklist or step-by-step -step thing um, some sort of uh, specifics or way of um, yeah at least a broad scope of something to uh, give it more structure, more uh, direction or something. Um, just like your work, your everyday sort of New communications, um, taking orders, taking um, notes, taking um, detailed notes, something having to do with work, um, some sort of checklist or just blueprints, some sort of, it's actually came up a lot when I was watching that movie, um, <laughs> and uh, kind of translate different things so it came up a lot whenever they were looking at a crypt text um, <laughs> trying to figure out something in like usually a church and so this card maybe in the other deck it'll be more apparent as to why but yeah <laughs> it came up a lot <laughs> so it's kind of funny um, it's like working something out collaboration um, working together working as a team um, a meeting, um, something having to do with three people or three perspectives, three, um, three tasks, three um, lessons maybe, Saturn. We've got Venus too, like three lessons. Um, I'll move on to, yeah, here's that change with two pentacles. You value what you see as valuable, um, what you value. Seeing someone else's perspective or side of things, just even if only to broaden your perspective. So, let's see. Um, Judgment just flew out. So it's the second time. Two different decks. Um, so yeah, hearing the music, the wake up call, some sort of um, signal for you, or just a hospital, something that awakens your spirit, your um, gets you up bright and early. Um, some sort of like maybe some sort of divine like 
feeling timing or just intervention or some something that just um, like last call um, but again sort of like having to do with music and um, I feel like music sound rejuvenating these people um, I'm just feeling brought back to life so um, I kind of translate that to orchestra conductor, um, emotions, tides, the violin, um, four strings, four directions, four winds, um, four corners of the, you know, four strings for um, all these different patterns and um, ways of playing um, something. Again, tone and all the details. <laughs> um, and yeah, um, that kind of is similar to moon and um, moon and sun and the tides and the push in the pool and the, um, I hope that's making sense to people, but music of the spheres. Um, yeah, some sort of visual representation of um, energy, natural energy of um, natural magnetism of um, something you have to do with 20 degrees or 20 and um, on the bottom. It's hard to tell which show you guys. The music, um, horn, ton of swords. For a second, ten oh two. Um, I do like these colors, though. It's kind of in a way it looks a little bit Georgia Keefe, like pastel watercolor purples and minus themes, feeling stabbed in the back. Um, but I think of like New Horizons. Something's over. Maybe you're just done thinking about something. Um, you finally come to some sort of conclusion or understanding. Um, you just need to like realign your um, your back. Doing yoga or something bright and early. <laughs> um, so I always feel like kind of looks like you would be representative of the spine. <laughs> or sometimes also music, I think. When I said that, this popped out, so it could have to do with music because um, swords, you know, communication, words, thoughts, sound, music. Or just half, half something. or something. Um, I think of fish with the, the, um, the drawing that I did. I think it's in one of my old videos where I had like drawn my fifth house energies and even the Venus and Scorpio was drawn in pink and I had a little fish <laughs> um, it was by the beach. 
weird. But also like the scales of fish and um, convolutions of wool. Not convolutions, the scales on wool. Um, maybe convolutions, spirals, but going in circles. Um, but yeah, just weird sort of comparison. Wool and fish, sheep and fish. Um, some sort of cute message, maybe find something adorable or like fascinating, like you caught something, um, put a catch. Um, be a cancer. Um, usually it just comes through as like very sweet um, encouraging energy, like kind of message, or um, just like a like a reach out, sort of um, saying hello or something. Um, something spiritual or loving. Um, just like cute and sweet. <laughs> just some, being interested in something, I think. Um, how are you doing? <laughs> kind of thing. So, um, the Ten of Wands was on the bottom, so. It's just gonna be like, I've got a lot on my mind, a lot, of, you know, a lot of responsibility or something. Um, we need to be up early. Um, maybe take a hint. Um, it was a bit harsh, but it was the Ten of Swords, but. It just um, it kind of depends. Um, it did come out since with this card here. Um, maybe you're feeling a little bit judged, but it could be the good news is um, reversed. It also came out reversed if you're going with that upright. So that's getting a second chance. Hearing the music, hearing the, you know, a second chance at something. Um, start over, start fresh. Ten of these down to one, so it's just kind of like tweener between two stages of thought, of development, of um, swords. Talk about your mental capabilities in a way. Your um, intelligence, um, your ability to figure something out or to solve something. So I feel like this would be <laughs> help is when you finally figured out the answer to like a riddle, <laughs> for example. Um, but you've thought about it for like hours and it's been bugging you like all day and you, it's like, you know, that kind of thing, hopefully. Um, just half though, you have something to say, you have something to say, something to get off your chest, something to, um, something to keep, a keepsake, I kind of want to say, like, it's camp water energy, um, something that touches you, um, on an emotional level, um, how you come off. Send it hard to come out, and that'd be like having a cancer ascendant. So you come off as a little bit more. I feel like all cardinal signs kind of come off as a little bit more naive, or um, in whatever respect to their houses or areas of life, because they're the cardinal signs. They're the first to do something. Um, so you know, there's that like beginner feeling or having to start over with something um, or testing the waters. I kind of feel like 
kind of testing the waters or seeing how um, seeing something up close. Um, same with what I what I have like. Um, I just feel like it's like little kids like very. This could be a younger person too, and just very like fascinated by the fish that he caught. So, um, <laughs> I hope that doesn't sound like I mean, this all in the very like you know emotional sort of loving ways. Like, big catch. So, um, <laughs> yeah, but I feel like cardinal signs because it is they're new at something. Um, they're the first to feel, think, say, do something. So it's like testing the waters a little bit and. In that sense, they come off a little bit more um, young or maybe um, naive or something, but um, really they're just sort of like paving the way. Like, I feel like he's like gathering, um, you know, an intern at like some sort of um, aquarium or something, <laughs> you know, shelter animal, sh you know, and he's like, getting a test sample from the water and like, you know, doing some sort of study, chemical study or something. So uh, it's the beginning of some sort of, um, maybe something just looks different. Um, maybe something having to do with 10. Uh, I said that and the Wheel of Fortune 10 popped out. So, yeah, um, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. Aquarius, like the star, um, up here, this corner, which is interesting because then it says that's kind of by, I, just, I don't know, um, just like I was talking about in the last video. I want to explain now, but some sort of yeah again cycle in the three tiered um, cycles that can go you know change directions and um, the Sphinx. It's just some sort of like learning, like taking. I just feel like they're all on the subway reading on their way somewhere because it can mean direction or change in direction, something in the wind, change in the winds, change in um, how things are going for you. Maybe um, it could just be your part of fortune. Maybe that's what it is, some sort of a video that I put in one of the new playlists, Part of Fortune, what that kind of means for you in the different astrological parts and um, Cancer. Um, um, can you just find something very cute <laughs> or interesting? Just feel lucky. Sort of windfall of things. Um, windfall of good fortune. Like this just what's just popped to mind is um, <laughs> the frog prince and like seeing beyond the. Um, scales or the rough edges or um, what exactly I'm trying to say Here's the Three of Pentacles. So that's why it looks very much like the it pops out when they're looking at a cryptex or trying to figure out some sort of code or puzzle or 
it's like blueprints and from my perspective my perspective it's like maybe a meeting or um, some sort of like get together or maybe you're talking about work or just making some plans to do something um, sometimes this can mean spiritual messages coming in from the other side um, three though it's very um, bottom um, foundation it's um, like it's like taking notes or like people conspiring on your behalf um, like on the other side like you know just feeling watched over maybe like with like messages coming in or little tidbits of advice or guidance um, some sort of like co-worker situation maybe um, you feel lucky you figure something out just in the nick of time or something um, maybe, did you catch that <laughs> um, there's a lot of subtle details and things that I put um, in these readings and talk about and come up in the cards and the imagery and um, just for that, the lovers, um, and you can see those paralleled in lyrics and backgrounds of videos and in um, the timestamps and publishing dates and things like that just have all kind of miraculously worked together in some way. So um, to kind of reflect these cards, but also I'll probably have to go through all the different 24 different layers, but there's a lot of them. This is the lovers card. A lot of major arcana judgment, wheel of fortune, strength or lust card, um, lovers. Ace of Cups is a powerful new start, powerful new beginning. The hangman, the star, the devil, sun. It's like maybe a lot of pre thought or pre like cognitive planning or something I want to say like you've thought it all through in your mind and maybe it's like what you bring to the table um, what you can contribute to something um, setting something up to or just um, something maybe on your behalf or some sort of distance or lovers can mean Gemini or it's six um, I just noticed her robe more so at like her ombre wings. <laughs> I feel like there's just a lot of looking at each other. It's it's sort of like this is when you first like encounter the other or the others in your life. Um, significant other maybe. Um, how someone sees you, how maybe you're being blessed, brought together, looked after, looked over. Um, I feel like there's separation, but also connection, some sort of like brand new beginning, a relationship, um, just being in love. The sun is like really just reminds me very much of this card, so just very bright, um, sunshiny days um, ahead or something. Apple picking or um, just uh, admiring something too. Too on the bottom. I mean, like uh, crossroads or um, double edged, you know, double edged knife, um, sword. Um, split the difference. Something is just like something else. Maybe the, you know, you could look in a different 
way, different from a different perspective to find a way to differentiate things or something looks just like something else, can't tell a difference. Um, sometimes mean why, um, having to listen, have maybe some sort of clear audience, I think, you know, I feel like it's two ears, she can't see, but she can hear some sort of like spiritual, spirit, yeah, spiritual guidance, or, you know, maybe it's like devil and angel on your shoulder kind of thing. Um, it's a, maybe the choice is hard because they're two very, you know, good options, um, and you just can't choose, it can also be like having your defenses up and needing to let down your defenses a little bit and maybe don't be blind, see something that's like right in front of your face, um, relying on your other senses in a way to um, help you understand something better. Um, you need to see both sides of a situation. Maybe you're just feeling torn between two, um, two ways of looking at something or two ways of going. Um, both are kind of equally as good or it's like two thoughts. Um, two letter word. the six of cups. So something like passed down or shared, a hand-me-down kind of thing. It's very like take care of you energy, like looking after something, a sibling. Um, stopping to smell the roses, flowers, same, you know, like just enjoying, like, showing someone something, like, um, maybe helping out. Maybe it's her, like, chore to do something and the other one's helping. Um, some sort of French chateau or, um, just, again, sort of, um, looking after something or finding something very aesthetically pleasing. Um, the star, white stars, kind of reminds me of the earlier card, the Ten of um, Cups and the Gardener's Daughter. So sharing something or um, <laughs> sharing a secret, telling a little secret. Um, Maybe I feel like kids are like planning a birthday party or something um, for their parents, you know. Um, this also reminds me of this place called The Point here in Chicago. Um, having all your ducks in a row, setting up a party kind of thing. Just like a maybe six something or other, two sixes again. Um, which add up to 12, the hangman. Um, also, there's something that's been coming through a lot with like three generations, um, three, three, three generations. Ten of Cups is on the bottom here. So yeah, that's like sort of like undercover or taking cover under your uh, safety net or umbrella. Just some fireworks, Fourth of July, um, Easter. Someday, kind of thing. Um, just some sort of like happy conclusion. I feel like there's been like two cycles here in a way. Like this card has also come up before. So you're just like working through different stages in something and just enjoying being around family and friends and um, also think of like some sort of multiplex or like outdoor um, music festival stage sort of thing. Um, Central Park sort of. Um, yeah. So maybe you're just feeling really satisfied with job well done. 
this too, especially job well done maybe. Um, and I'm just like enjoying the, the, you know, fruits of your labor kind of thing. It's just kind of some sort of idyllic uh, afternoon situation maybe. So, medium cities. So, I pulled a lot of cards from that deck and I haven't even gotten to this one. There's just been like so many messages coming through that <laughs> I um, kind of wanted to document and relay them. Otherwise, I probably would never. Um, this is the King of Fire. More Leo energy. Actually, I don't know. The moon is. What is the moon? Queen of Airs on the bottom. The moon is in Scorpio, so it's like double Scorpio, double water. Queen of Air. We've been through the flames, through the through the ringer, maybe you're just over excited about something too. Maybe there's just a lot of, you're coming from a place with a lot of like, um, I mean, minus the scary sword in his hand, a lot of, uh, you know, um, stimulating excitement or something. Um, kind of looks like he's coming from battle escaping some sort of traumatic situation. <laughs> um, he looks a bit traumatized. These cards are a bit extreme. So King of uh, Fire, which I think he, that card come up before somewhere. A lot of Leo energy, so maybe that's just a lot of creative different directions, different ways of looking at things, different ways of expressing um, creative ideas, things like that, um, being some sort of like creative, like a king of swords can, you know, be a visionary type person, um, and just is very, um, go-getter kind of too, and, um, maybe like some sort of pioneer type, um, king of air, so maybe there's a lot of air with also hangman which is representative of Gemini too and Mercury and um, communication and think of the lover's card and like having some sort of like long distance relationship like, uh, you know actually yeah, it's funny I actually did um, Gemini in my college sweet, like sweetheart um, So that would be like representative of a situation like that, you know, just being at a distance and sort of um, hanging out, thinking about them. There's a lot of thought going on, Aquarius, thinking outside the box, seeing things from a different angle, uh, maybe some sort of cracked, like icebreaker, um, maybe crack the shell. Maybe you feel like there's a shell with the two of want or two of swords that came up before, and the defensiveness, and before you drop the facade or the um, outer shell, maybe you feel like shell, maybe shell gas station, <laughs> um, crack, bad egg or something. I don't know. He just looks entertained by it though. So, and just a lot of wind and a lot of thoughts being carried across when through electricity of the mind <laughs> King of Earth is on the bottom again <sighs> I 
earth and air and water. Some fire too, I guess, too. Four of cups again. Um, four of water. So just maybe being distracted by something or just... I feel like it's like when someone's trying to get your attention or try to do something nice, like kind of, I don't know, you can see in the video, but you know, she's trying to be affectionate or get someone's attention and they're just kind of like fixated on work or just not noticing. So maybe she's like paying attention to those that are like close to you that you care about and um, maybe that's the same guy. Just looks caught off guard. So maybe something like an invitation or something just kind of catches you off guard, and maybe you're just busy, um, not interested, or find something funny and a little bit wacky, maybe, or entertaining. Um, Line of fire. So it's like, I always just say, like, this moon in Sagittarius, maybe the ninth house, um, sneaky, um, four nine, um, fourth house and the ninth house aspects. I don't really know what that, um, Maybe education at home at home ed home education or something I don't know how that would translate but you know higher learning education schools things like that um, nine some sort of completion <laughs> um, yeah Kind of looking over your shoulder, like a little bit paranoid. <laughs> um, how does someone feel about something? Um, you're wondering what's next. It's like very aggressive. Like maybe it's like that Aries just kind of take charge, like, but then let others like kind of. <laughs> Um, like, aren't afraid to make the first move kind of thing. Um, we've got Jupiter in Leo, so I feel like she's just very, like, woman in charge, like, <laughs> does what she wants a little bit, like, you know, Sex in the City, sort of like Samantha type, I guess you'd say. Um, he likes, I don't know full service is just what popped to mind, but <laughs> makes me think of the Eight of um, Swords video that I have there, Sia's and the lyrics being for a good time call. <laughs> um, and I was a hostess in a restaurant, so <laughs> it's kind of like a funny little joke to me, but <laughs> um, not necessarily a good time in this way, just, you know, reservationist. <laughs> um, so, usually this is some sort of success, and the victory card did come up before, and the moon maybe, um, again, more Mars, and, I don't know, this is the tower. The moon looks kind of similar, there's two towers. Um, so the tower, uh, Maybe something blows your mind, um, something just really, um, what was the phrase that came through earlier, um, that rules, <laughs> um, or that rules, yeah, I think, or you just want to like, uh, really just burst out of your shell and explode into the atmosphere, all these ideas and thoughts, and it's like the Ching cloud of ideas and the iCloud, um, connected through the iCloud, yeah, 
Um, can I keep you? <laughs> um, I just realized that those two, like on the other side of the mountain, in the cloud in the middle, and kind of like a shepherd looking guy. Um, rainy weather reminds me of like Bruno Mars video at the rain directional sort of. Also the eight of rods. Mars is like that fiery energy and um, the tower 16, um, something that's a shock or surprise or maybe running out of space or running out of room. And the fire, three of, yeah, so yes, I'm gonna end here. Hope you enjoyed the reading um, or that it was insightful and um, try some more later. But thanks for watching, bye.